Hello everyone! Every year, Korea has a history-rooted beauty pageant in search for Miss Korea, talented, intelligent, and beautiful women to represent the beauty of our country. So today, we are joined in the studio by the 2019 Miss Korea. Well, I was also crowned as Miss Korea 2017, so I myself am very excited to get to know more about her. Thank you for joining us. Could you please introduce yourself to the camera? Um, hello, my name is Taeyoung Kim. I'm 20 years old and I'm from LA. <laughs> and I'm the winner of 2019 Miss Korea. <laughs> Congrats once again. So you're the newly crowned 2019 Miss Korea, right? Yeah. So you must be very busy. How are you doing these days? Um, these days, I'm just taking a break after the month camp. Camp? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, recently, I went back to LA mm -hmm. to go visit my family and my, my close friends and to take a semester off of school so I can fully focus on Miss Korea this year and to get some of my clothes because I didn't <laughs> think I would be here for the rest of the year. Right, you'll be very busy for a year. Yeah. So you are the very first Miss Korea to have won the regional competition abroad, right? How do you feel about that? Well, I'm so honored and grateful to be the first regional Miss Korea abroad. But then, because I'm from abroad, I think I feel that much pressure to do yeah, well. Yeah. But I think more than like more than stressing out about this pressure, it's just a little exciting. Mm -hmm. So, how long have you lived in the states? Um, I actually moved to Canada first when I was six years old, and then I moved to America two years later when I was eight. Back in 2007 and I've been living there since then. My dad lives here because he works here and the rest of my family is in America but we always come back and forth. Were there any specific hobbies or places you enjoyed back then in the States? Yeah of course I have so many. I So many? Uh, wow <laughs> that's great. Um, as an art major I love drawing and painting and I also love playing with my dogs Eating good food. Oh, yeah, dog. How many dogs do you have? I have four dogs in total oh, right now. That's so cute. So I heard you majored in graphic designs, right? So was Miss Korea your childhood dream or were there any other inspiration that led you to this journey of Miss Korea? Um, well, first I want to clarify that mm -hmm. I'm an illustration major. Oh, illustration yeah. major. Yeah, I was an right. illustration major and I transferred to graphic design mm -hmm. before I ran for Miss Korea. Mm -hmm. But I recently transferred back to Yay. illustration. So I'm an illustration major student. And my major and running for Miss Korea is completely not related. Mm -hmm. I One year ago today, I would have never thought I would be oh. here. I was a 2019 Miss that Korea. That was not your childhood dream. Yeah. <laughs> but I saw my sister run for Miss Korea USA last year. Oh. Yeah, she she was Sun Miss Korea USA last year. And I saw how much she grew and positively changed throughout her experience, which inspired me to run for Miss Korea this year. Wow. Which is why I ran. What was the most hardest thing for you when you were preparing for this pageant? Um, preparing for Miss Korea, honestly, my hardest thing was speaking in Korean. Speaking in Korea. I mean, I am fluent in both English and Korean, but my, I am more comfortable with English. I didn't go into the month's training camp like, I'm gonna win, like, mm -hmm. I, I wasn't like that. I was just like, I'm here for the experience. I was more focusing on enjoying my time there and making friends in Korea. Did you gain more confidence in speaking Korean? Yeah, I think um, being here, being in Korea for a while with all this, all these Korean friends is just helping, helping me speak uh, more naturally now. Mm -hmm. And I'm much more confident uh, much more than confident. before. Yeah. So nice. I heard that your interview questions were very difficult for your preliminaries. Yeah. So you must have improved so much. Yeah, I, I was not good then. <laughs> right, I wasn't confident, yeah. Right. So despite all of those difficulties, when they called your name to be the 2019 Miss Korea, how did you feel? Did you expect that coming? No, I <laughs> did not expect that. It was so unexpected that I didn't know what to feel. Mm -hmm. 
I just, I just felt grateful to my family and friends and everyone that supported me along the way to, uh, that granted me the opportunity to be up there. How did your family members react to it? Um, they were really happy for me. They knew how difficult this was going to be for me, so they were there for me every step of the challenge. And they were just really happy that I was able to get what I wanted. Yeah. Were they all there for you to cheer you up? Of course. Wow. Um, like my oldest sister, she's, she's been in America and she hasn't been here mm -hmm. in a while, but we've, during camp, I always called and texted her and they always supported yeah. me. Yeah. You mentioned that you miss your sister the most, right? Yeah. How about your father? He is a very well-known person in the field of entertainment industry, right? Mm -hmm. So he must have foreseen all the difficulties or you know, things that are present in those fields. Yeah, but he was actually very supportive of me and just worried because... Like it might hurt like, you. Yeah, or, because it yeah. might hurt me if I didn't win. Mm -hmm. But after I, I was crowned, it was not just my but my sisters too, like first time seeing my dad cry because he was so happy. Because I was crying so much on stage, I didn't look at them because I knew I was gonna cry even more. But my sister filmed a video of my dad crying. Oh, that's so, so sweet. Yeah, Aww. it was really happy. You have a year of rain, right? Do you expect anything coming or do you want to try anything out? Like modeling or? being a host? Honestly, I don't expect too much, but just a lot of experience and to grow as a person. Mm -hmm. If there are chances, I will take them. Yeah, okay. But I've heard in the past, like former Miss Koreas have done what they've done for the community. So mm -hmm. I, would, I would also like to participate in community service. The 2017 Miss Korea gave a lot of effort to make known of Korean dances. And for 2018, she talked more about how to stay confident and beautiful in your own body. So is there any message of yours? Um, well, first, even to the people in the future that's going to run for Miss Korea, mm -hmm. I want to I want to share that I think what I value most is inner beauty. Inner yeah, right. um, it's not just about the appearance. Instead, it's the value and the character. Well, I don't think beauty is defined by one specific thing. Right. Um, of course, looks are included, mm -hmm. but it's also the personality, the intelligence of the person and confidence that makes a person beautiful. Right, yeah. confidently beautiful. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Miss Korea in the past, mm -hmm. it's, I feel like uh, it was known for more about appearance, even though it wasn't. But nowadays, I feel like it's not just about appearance too. It's about what the values, what kind of values the person has. Um, height doesn't matter too much anymore. and even body, I think it's more out in the open, like everyone can try. Yeah, how confident yeah. and passionate. Yeah. And what are your values? Mm -hmm. Those are the real important things, yeah. right? Thank you for the interview today. I can really see a very talented, <laughs> passionate, and valuable <laughs> beauty queen right here. So I really hope your journey will be very happy. Thank you. And you will learn a lot. So could you leave a message to our viewers of Korea Times? Thank you everyone for your time today and this wonderful interview. I hope I get to see you more throughout Miss Korea activities and please support and love Miss Korea from now on. Thank you.